Okay, in this video, I am going to show you how to download data from Gapminder, the Gapminder website, into Excel uh, so that you have two sets of data, some bivariate data that you can analyze. Okay, so the first thing you need to do um, is go into Gapminder and find the data that you would like to compare. I've decided in this example to um, look at the relationship between the percentage of students that are in primary school or that complete primary school and the amount of money that's spent on uh, primary school students by the government. So I'm thinking that as um, expenditures or as um, money given to education increases that the number of students who complete primary school will also increase. So that's kind of my hypothesis, but uh, I'm looking for the data first. So I'm going to go to Gapminder. It's in our OneNote um, links to find data under the Exploration tab. So I click on that and it takes me here. Okay. Now I can go down and I can search. And here, and you can do this search before you download. So you go, you search for something that you're interested in, um, and then, of course, I being a teacher, I'm interested in education. So I found these two um, sets of data and I want to compare them. So I look at education. First I'm going to look at um, school enrollment. And I can see uh, primary school completion. I'm actually going to look at completion of boys and girls at the same time. Now, it's very important at this point that somewhere you capture this information here. Here's your source coming from Gapminder, so you have to have that sourced also. And you'll also want to use this in quotes. It's a, it's a very um, concise definition of what the data means. And you're going to have to read that and understand that if you're going to uh, continue. So, everything's listed by country, and then we have by year. So I want to download this into Excel. Once you have Excel, you can download it here. So you click this, and you open it with Excel. Now, um, opens in Excel, and I have every country I want, or every country there is that, that has data, and then all the years. So I need to enable editing, okay? Because right now, if I tried to, say, delete that, it won't let me. So I'm going to enable editing and then I'm going to go back to the website. So this is opened in one book of Excel. I go back and I go back and I search now again for education and now I'm looking at the cost. Click on the cost and if I look up here, it's expenditure per student in primary, which is what I'm looking for, primary education. So I'm going to click on that. Sure enough, it opens another one. I need to capture all of this somewhere. Put this in your EasyBib or however you um, are doing that, the Noodle tool or whatever it is. Um, you can take care of that. So again, download, open with Excel. Okay, so at this point I have two open spreadsheets, primary and expenditure, completion and expenditure, and from that I'm going to make one. So if I look at the expenditure per student, go over here, and I see I go all the way up to 2017, but it doesn't look like there's really much data there. 2014 looks pretty robust, um, and then if I look at enrollment, so that was um, expenditures, now here's completion or enrollment, right? If I go over here, again, it goes up to 2014, and 2014 looks like it has uh, quite a bit of data. Um, I might want to do 2015 if I go back and look. I think just for this example, I'll stick with 214. So that means I only want the column that has data for 2014. So I literally just highlight this column by clicking on AS, right? The top there, the name above the year, and I go all the way over.
to just before the country, everything's highlighted that I don't want. I right click and I delete. And now I have 2014 next to the name of the country. I need to get rid of 2015, 2016, and 2017. I delete. And now I have the um, countries um, there. So the next thing I'm going to do is do the same for expenditures. So I come back over here. I'm doing 2014. So I go and I go across and I delete everything but 2014. And I delete everything but 2014. Next, I'm going to highlight column A and B on this page, expenditure per student. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to completion rate. Put my cursor right there and go down. Okay. Now, you have every country and the values. Okay. The problem is, if you go down, you may see here very quickly, here we have Bahamas, but we don't have Bahamas listed here. So, I'm going to stop at this point and um, let you get your data into one place, and then you can look at my next video and you'll see how to clean it up so that all the countries are aligned and you only have countries that you have data in both categories for. Okay, hope this helps.